and that was my dream I wanted to be a pro footballer but inside there was something missing so I thought that if I pushed a dream like made loads of money or became a pro footballer that thing inside that was empty would be filled what I found was it didn't work like that because when I got there I still had this emptiness well I was doing okay but a friend of mine called Simon got killed and he got killed on his birthday on his motorbike his new one and I wanted to know if that had been me would I get to heaven and the answer was when I was 19 no I wouldn't have done so I got concerned about my eternal place so what happened then was I kept talking to my sister Phil and Angela and Philomena said to me something I didn't understand now most people in England do not know this they think first there's no God and secondly you get there by your own effort and both of those positions are not right because God turned up 2,000 years ago he came to planet earth but the way you get to heaven is not by doing good it's by being forgiven so mum that's for Otis Otis thank you mum thank you, thank you for joining in and feel free to take a book from here okay they're absolutely free if you'd like one mum page 77 that's it hey, all right, kid. <laughs> I know what you were thinking. Anybody else think that they can come and get this five pound out of my box? It's simple. All you're going to do is open the box and take the five pound out, and it's yours. Any other volunteers? Anybody else? Have we got any volunteers? Come on, for a free five pound. No, 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 no. Have we got a volunteer here? Go on, just try it. Go on, it's I'll worth the try. It. try. You'll try it, really. Round of applause. What's your name? This is Isabel. How old are you? She's 13, and where are you from? West Berkshire. Isabel, same rules apply. You can't shake, you can't take it upside down. You've got 10 seconds starting from now. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You couldn't do it. But you see, God is a God of love. And God wants all of us to be in a loving relationship with him. And so God did something remarkable. He sent Jesus, his son, to die on the cross. And when Jesus died on the cross, it was something like this. You see, it was like this. It was like him opening this box and giving us this gift. You see, the gift that God offers is the gift of eternal life. He says that one day we can know a certain hope of heaven with him. And we might... And then the third lie, the most poisonous lie, he said, which will make sure millions upon billions of people are in hell, is this lie. Tell them they've got plenty of time. Friends, some of us might not have plenty of time. We often think we've got years and years and years, but for some of us, our time might be much shorter than we think. We've got a friend on this team, and his cousin climbed up a mountain two days ago at 17 years old. He isn't walking back today. He isn't coming back. But young people die too. I'm gonna to put one, I hope you can see now that I'm not your enemy, I'm your friend here, and I love you. And I'm gonna put one final gift to you as a friend. I wanna give you a book. I want to give you a free gift here, and this is a book which will tell you how to get eternal life, to find Jesus Christ, to find the hope of the gospel, that Jesus rose from the dead and he loves you. If anyone's brave enough, please just come and take it from my hand. I'd love to give it you. May God richly bless you all. God bless you, Will. Thank you so much. God bless you. Anyone else want one? Come and take it all. Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Would anyone else like one more book? Right. Oh, bless you. Come on, Tom.